What sets the Cleveland Clinic apart from other health systems is that dedication to interdisciplinary patient care, medical education, and to scientific research. Expertise is something we should always strive for, and continuously improving our expertise is something that I'm passionate about. And the collaboration that we have between pathology and nephrology here at the Cleveland Clinic really is an excellent example of that. What makes us so successful is the strong teamwork. For example, whenever we have a patient with complicated condition for which we would like to get opinions from colleagues, we could always feel comfortable to send group emails and ask help. And we will get help really quickly. We believe strongly in being a team of teams. We have the ability to integrate across disciplines to provide the best care for patients. She does have an M protein in the urine, but not in the serum. So. The Department of Nephrology and Hypertension is part of the Glickman Neurologic and Kidney Institute at Cleveland Clinic in Cleveland, Ohio. We provide comprehensive nephrologic and transplant care to the complete spectrum of kidney disease. I think to understand kidney disease, we really have to understand pathology. In addition, it's just not enough to read the final diagnosis on a pathology report. You have to read the body of the text and really understand the nuances and what the pathologist is trying to say to you. So in the most difficult clinical cases, the magic happens when we all get into a room and discuss the case. The nephrologist, perhaps a rheumatologist, and the renal pathologist, as well as residents and fellows and everybody else taking care of the patient, we all have a slightly different perspective. And when we can combine those perspectives, listen to each other, and come up with a coordinated treatment plan, the patient really benefits. Combining the genetic test result with pathology findings is very important for precise diagnosis and management. Genomic workup has been increasingly important Many patients come to the genetic nephrology clinic for chronic kidney disease with undetermined cause. They don't know why they have the disease. With our evaluation, we utilize the diagnostic tools, including chromosome analysis, phenotype-guided genes panel test, whole exome sequencing, or even whole genome sequencing to provide answers for the patient. I think um, you know, people often think that the uh, clinic is a world-class patient care delivery. Um, system, which it is, but it also is a world-class uh, research enterprise. KPMP is the Kidney Precision Medicine Project. It's funded by the uh, uh, National Institutes of Health, NIDDK specifically, and its goal is to test the hypothesis that precision medicine principles, that is doing deep molecular phenotyping at a genome level, at a transcriptome level, at a metabolome level, uh, and integrating that data with the rich clinical data that you now have in, in electronic health records, that we'll be able to make discoveries that will improve the lives of people with kidney disease. And the other, the other interesting aspect of it is for the first time we're doing research kidney biopsies. That's never been done. The Cleveland Clinic is one of the largest uh, transplant centers uh, performing solid organ transplantation. That includes kidney, liver, heart, lung, intestine, among other, and pancreas, among other uh, programs. So we have a vast experience in combined organ transplantation. And also, uh, as a transplant nephrologist, we have a vast experience in taking care of patients with a kidney disease in any form, acute kidney injury or chronic kidney disease, in the setting of other organ transplantation. So that puts us in a situation where we have a unique opportunity to actually take care of the most complex patients and uh, often uh, offer combined organ transplantation at the same time. At Cleveland Clinic, we've leveraged digital pathology to help increase our footprint across the world. Our hospital in Abu Dhabi recently opened a kidney transplant program, which has been made possible in part because they can get their renal pathology read here at main campus. They can do the biopsy there, do the initial processing there, and then digitally scan those slides so that a pathologist here can instantaneously review it. We can make the diagnosis of rejection half a world away, helping guide patient management in real time. You see here that the glomerulus is basically normocellular, but there's a large artery here that is occluded with fibrin. So the nephrology fellows at Cleveland Clinic fibrin. get one of the best experiences in renal pathology that I've ever seen. They actually spend two dedicated weeks sitting with me and my colleagues doing the practice of renal pathology. 
They learn how to process the material, drive the light microscope, learn different patterns on immunofluorescence and electron microscopy. They learn how to talk the language of pathology and talk about the histological descriptions and then try to uh, render an accurate diagnosis. Here is a thrombotic microangiopathy and that's why she has AKI. They also get an appreciation for how important it is to have clinical information as we're signing out these biopsies and the importance of that interaction between the nephrologist and the pathologist to help further patient care. It's just a remarkable place. People really live the, uh, the, the patient first tagline that the clinic uses. It really is that.